Welcome back, or to anybody that's new to the Cologne Talk X TJ Talk Sense podcast, episode 16, baby. It's been a while. Yes. There's a lot of things that's been happening behind the scenes. TJ's been busy. I've been busy. We've been just getting packed with a lot of things to do. Yeah. And we both been we both been ill as well. So we're actually recording this two days before 2024. But when obviously everyone listens to it, it will be 2024. So we got to say a quick happy new year to everyone. I hope this year is better than the last man. It's been a it's been a crazy year, man. It's been a it's been a ride. It's, it's been insane. Like from yeah, our last episode, I think we done. You just hit one year creating content. I swear. Yes. Yep. Yeah. And it's. It, just let's start with that first let's start with how the year's gone we'll both touch on how it's been for both of us if you had to summarize the year how's it been for you it's been crazy man a lot of good memories a lot of things like I started out because I just wanted to do it for fun and now seeing where I am I'm like wow you know the growth has been astronomical and it's it's been crazy and it's just something that I could see myself doing full-time in the future yeah I, I, I totally agree with that. And can you imagine if all of this stuff has just happened in one year, what if you or we continue doing this for three, four, five years? Where will we be at? It's going to be crazy. It's going to be crazy. This The number, the following we're at right now, it's going to be doubled. It's going to be tripled. And we're going to work with crazy amount of crazy name brands. Like we've worked with really good brands lately. And we're gonna we're still gonna continue to grow and work with more brands and connect to even more social media platforms. Like we're mainly on TikTok right now. You've started to venture off into YouTube. I've started going a little bit into Instagram and maybe YouTube next year as well. Yeah. And and not only that, imagine the amount of people we'll be able to reach, the impact we'll be able to to put on the knowledge of different fragrance houses and brands that we'll be able to give to people. It's just going to be nuts because I remember, obviously, we was both into fragrances last year before we started creating content, but we've obviously learned about so many brands. And then when we go out and... <laughs> <clears throat> sorry when we go out in the stores and stuff we're checking out some brands we never heard about and putting loads of people onto it and you can see when you drop a video and then someone will message you like oh i just went and tried that fragrance that they probably never ever would have tried in their life and just because of the information we're putting out so as long as it's all positive like it's, it's happy days for everyone you, you can call us influencers at this point <laughs> <laughs> so, no nah, this year yeah. for me it's been it's been insane <clears throat> sorry I was, I'm still recovering from a little sickness because loads of people are actually DMing me like or commenting on, on the post saying what's going on with the podcast have you guys stopped no look we've been super busy I'm just recovering from an illness Cologne Talk's been ill so it's been it's been a bit mad lately yeah and you know the holidays have been here so we've got you know our own holiday things going on in the background just Christmas passed up and we've yeah. been busy been busy with man, the fam but... and all that you know but we're back at it. 2024 is going to be a mad one. We've already got a few special guests lined up. Loads of actual content creators are hitting me up. Like, hey, I need to jump on a podcast. So the episodes coming out every week from now on, they're just yep. going to level up and up and up, man. Yep. And um, we're planning on some big things. I want to get some big people on here. I want to get some houses, brands, you know. Yeah. We're yeah. going to make some crazy stuff happen for sure. Yeah, man. And I've seen loads of people as it's coming to the end of the year, people do like a little collage or a little summary of everything what's, what's going on in the year. I just saw Ragnar dropped a video just now. And when I was looking through my camera, roll, I'm like, I've been to so many different stores, checked out loads of fragrances, collabed with Harrods, had my own event that we'll get into a little bit later, interviewed Mark and Tom Barra, interviewed the founder of Orm and Jane, met Killian Hennessy. Oy, like there's so much stuff that's happened. It is just, it's mind blowing, man. And then in 2024, you'll get PR from him, uh, Killian hey, himself. Hey, I saw something I, the other day. Did Fragrance Knowledge get a package from Killian? Yep, he did. <laughs> <laughs> I seen that too. I was like, yo, oh, TJ's looking at this. He's like, yeah, that should have been me. <laughs> hey, I'm sure he's like the first person I've ever seen get something from them. Yeah, they, they hardly do PR. I don't ever see them do PR I, much. I'm going to message him after this and be like, bro, how the hell did that come about? Because I Took need me that. Up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, man. So, yeah, it's, it's been an insane year, man. Super grateful for everything. And, yeah. yeah, since the last episode, obviously I had my event. And 
you see because we're doing the podcast now it's hard because i want to call you and tell you everything what's going on but then you want to save it so like i'm getting your first reaction kind of on camera yeah. isn't it? so obviously the event happened one day after my birthday on the 15th of december it was actually meant to happen on the 8th so the week before but because they couldn't sort out some stuff for the the link and the advertising in time. So I had like six days to promote the event. There was like 35 tickets on sale. They were £35 a ticket, I think it was. But on the day you could redeem it and get £35 off a fragrance. Um, so I on the day of the event, I, I can't even explain it. I thought I was actually going to faint. I thought I was going to stop breathing. <laughs> I was so nervous that... Like, I couldn't even sit down. You know when you're, like, just so itchy and you're just like, oh, what's going on? What's going on? Yeah, so, yeah. like, on the day, it was crazy. Went into the event. Obviously, everyone started coming in and they're all here, like, to see me. So, like, you can't shy away. You can't hide. And for the first, like, five, ten minutes, I, I was I was nervous. Like, I'm sure people could see my heart beating. It was that. It was beating that hard. But then after five, ten minutes, cooled down. And then it was just, like, I was in my element because loads of the people who came, they were so like interactive they were asking questions during and then like nodding and when you see people doing that it kind of calms you down a little bit so yeah. we just went through a few things i discussed that like, my whole fragrance journey um what fragrances like kind of impacted me so like blur de chanel a little on sport um tom ford noir extreme obviously angel share um mm -hmm. discussed uh like how i even got into fragrances <clears throat> in the first place and then one thing that not a lot of people speak about is how collaborations come about and like the actual whole, uh, how we actually create content, how we do the videos, what research do we do, stuff like that. So loads of people come in, they were younger guys as well who want to get into what we're doing, creating content. So I was just giving out gems nonstop. I was just letting them know everything. There was no no secrets, no nothing. And they were surprised by a lot of it. The questions they asked me was crazy. And then after that, it was about seven o'clock and the place closed at 10. And literally 10 o'clock, the security kicked us out because we just stayed and we were just smelling fragrances and just chatting for like two, three hours. It was just probably one of the best days ever, man. It was crazy. God, dude, that sounds like, like when, when you announced the whole event thing, I was like, yo, I wish I could go because but it's so far. Yeah. We move out here, man. But, but, but even, even the people in the UK, because I only had like six days to promote the event. If I had like two months yeah. or something... Like, I'm sure people could have arranged things, but people had less than a week and it's just outside of London. So for me to get there, you can drive there in about 30, 40 minutes. But if you're not driving, it's a difficult place to get to that Harrods Beauty. So if it was at the main Harrods that you always see me go to, like up on the sixth yeah. floor, yeah, like no one would have had problems. It would have just been like so many more people would have came. But still, man, it was just, it was so sick. Like imagine, I was speaking to someone the other day, yeah? And then... um he because he came to the event and he was like bro i didn't know what to expect like from the event and like i wasn't kind of sure he came on his own and he's like bro it was like one of the best days i've had this whole year i was like Dude, that's a w that's, man that's crazy to hear like you've made somebody's whole day like that right there is a great impact on like people who watch you and people who look up to you and all that yeah and now they literally, they, they're all the people who came to the event, they're DMing me like every day. And it's like we're friends now. I'm just literally replying to them two, three in the morning. They, they literally just show me they're out for dinner, what they're eating. And I'm like, I sick, like, I'm going out to eat yeah, something now. So it's, <laughs> it's like it's like a little brotherhood. It's like it's, it's like a little family, man. You made like a good connection with, now they went from like people who were just following you to like, you literally talk to them and they're friends now, which yeah. is dope. Yeah, like, because I made a little joke at the event and I was like, oh, like, what's everyone's scent of the day? I hope no one's wearing, like, dupe, yeah? And then afterwards, some some kid came. He was, like, 13 years old. His dad came. And then his his dad came over and whispered to me. He's like, oh, I'm wearing dupe, by the way, but I didn't want to say it, yeah? And then <laughs> afterwards, when we were smelling fragrances, he bought um red tobacco from Mancera. And he's like, oh, I didn't know fragrances was, was this deep. But from the way you explained it, the passion that come through, like, I love fragrances now. Which is the best compliment I can ever get, like. Yeah. Now you got somebody addicted onto fragrances. And yeah. You, wear, you, you got them from wearing jupe to red tobacco. I don't that's, know if that's a that's good a thing. Jump. Or... <laughs> <laughs> that is crazy. But uh, I imagine us next year, we all linked up, like, five, six, seven, even ten of us fragrance creators, and we hired out somewhere and had an event all together. Do you know how crazy that would be? 
Oh my god, dude, that would be crazy. We need a bro, Italy. <laughs> that that would just be insane to do. Like the, the amount of people that will come from all over, like everywhere, just to see us and speak to us and chill and smell fragrances, it'll be it'll be mad. What's crazy is like one like couple months ago, you were telling me you're like, I want to have my own event. You literally called it. You were like, I want to have my own event one day or something like that. And then literally like in a month or so, you're like, yep, I got it. <laughs> I, I, I guess that's like, what do they call it? Speaking things into existence. Because I literally just said to you like, oh, um, yeah, maybe I can have my own event at Harrods. I don't know. And then I went in there and they were just like, oh, yeah. So we got this room and we didn't know if you wanted to do an event. I was like, what? Like, have you not been reading my mind or something? What's going on? <laughs> so, Dude, I was like, when you told me now or when you announced it, I was like, yeah, no way. Right. Because like, yeah. it's crazy to think about it. Uh, you know, you started out creating content and you're like, you're just in front of the camera. You didn't expect to host a whole room yeah. of people to listen to you IRL and just see how your mind works. Yeah, I know. It's mad. And even when I went to the, Af do you remember when I went to the Afnan event with Ragnar Jury and all those yeah. guys? So that was back in maybe June. Yeah. And I remember speaking to Ragnar in June and I think maybe I was on like 20K. I think I was on like literally 20K and I was like to him, or oh, maybe end of the year, us guys, like me, you, Jury Strong, so we could all like hire out somewhere and do an event and shit. And it was just, he was like, yeah, yeah, sounds like a good idea. So from that, like speaking it six, seven months ago to telling you about it, like seriously, like two, three months ago to it actually happening is just fucking crazy. It's crazy, yeah. It's, it's Damn. crazy. So that that's not going to be the first event, right? You got more coming up in 2024. Hey, nothing's in the pipeline at the moment, but yeah, definitely. <laughs> and I've been doing some more more like stuff with Harrods. Like I've been creating content mm -hmm. for them. So if people go onto Harrods Beauty's TikTok page, you will see me on there, like videos of me. So even that connection is just crazy. And I spoke to those guys and they was like, look, the event was a success. Like we really loved it. The feedback from everyone who came to the event has been crazy as well. And they look forward to working with me some more. So that's a compliment, man. And yeah, I'm hey, happy about that. That's a really good like partnership to have, like even long term too, because there's really like it's beneficial to you in a, in a good way. You know, you yeah. get to put your name out there to people like who go to Harrods and don't know about content creators on TikTok. Yeah. And, you know, later down the line, like if people ask for a fragrance and they have it, you can get it from them. And it's it's a win win. Yeah. Yeah. No, for real. It's it's crazy. It's good. I feel so lucky like to even be in this position. And even the page has been growing like fucking crazy. Like I've been ill and I haven't really been creating content. So I haven't been on there too much. I've just been posting, replying to content. And then I look today and I'm like, shit, I'm on like 96,000 followers. What the fuck's going on? Almost almost 100K. Yeah. 100K before the new year. <laughs> no way. <laughs> you never know. Anything's possible. But yeah, probably hit 100K within the next next two weeks i'd say yeah yeah pre so, pre congrats for now for, yeah thank you, thank you. It's, it's, <laughs> yeah of course well it's great and I, I think i saw today either today or yesterday comedic sense just hit 100k so yeah, i want to say congratulations 100K. to him as well that's a big success and it's dope to see him you know hit that milestone because he's doing this full time now yeah. and to see that it's working now is honestly like inspiring yeah because we he was what our third or fourth guest on the podcast and yeah, yeah. he literally quit his job. What was it? The day before? Yep. The day before. And then, and then he hopped he said, on a podcast. Yeah. And then he said like his plans are to do this full time. So to see what he's doing now, like, we have to congratulate him and salute yeah, him. Yeah. The that growth as well. has been, has been really, you know, it's good to see. It's well deserved as well. Yeah. Oh man. And the pickups. Yeah. Fragrance pickups. What are we, what are we talking? I've picked up. Uh, since the last time I picked up a few, I picked up <coughs> for Christmas. I got Vanille Absolute from Montau. I got Chocolate Greedy and I got Tom Ford Velvet Orchid, which I really like. Um, I also got Hibiscus Mahajad, which is solid. And then I want to get Oud uh, Maracuja. I tried it in New York and I really, I liked it. Bruh, it is, it is strong, but I still think Hibiscus yeah. is the best and most unique one that Mason Crivelli have. Um, I got Ragnar's new fragrance as well in the post oh, yeah. yesterday. So I just dropped a video review on it today. Um, yes, yeah, so I picked up quite a few. I got a few dupes as well. Obviously, the, the Taffa camera, the coffee one. Oh, uh, yeah, I just got that yesterday too. You got it as well? 
Yeah, I just got it yesterday. What do you think of it? I like it, but it it's not very different from the original. The the it's, coffee doesn't stay around for, for it four to five minutes. No, it's not very prominent. It remind if you have the original, I don't think it's you don't yeah. have you you don't have to get this, you know. Yeah, I, I said the same thing in my review. If you got the original, just stay with that. You don't need this. But obviously, people are always intrigued when there's something new. I think they did this honestly because Latavo Kummer is very hyped and a lot of people talk about it. So they did it as kind of just like a quick money grab. Yeah, yeah. What what have you picked up? Picked up anything new? <sighs> Damn, when was the last time we talked? We talked a week uh, when I came back from uh, from New York, right? Yeah, because you picked I up picked... a shitload of stuff, dude. I I've lost count on what I picked up. So I got Torino Twenty One yeah. a couple of days ago. I've been wanting to get that fragrance for a while because you know how the heat here is like scorching hot. Yeah, so I had to get that. Them Zerg, um, them Zergos up there are looking. It's looking solid right now. <laughs> it's looking good. <laughs> <laughs> That's the I have seven now. Seven, yeah. Is, is that the most good. bottles you've got from uh, a house? Yep, yeah. yep. And, uh, and then next to that is probably uh, PDM. Yeah. And then I got two mind games fragrances, blockade and grandmaster. And um, which one's better? Um, uh grandmaster you will probably like grandmaster more too because it's a more darker coffee ambery woody type scent okay a little okay. bit of sweetness yeah it's a really nice coffee fragrance um i got hugo boss 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 bottle elixir wait I... hugo is it hugo boss boss bottle elixir or hugo yeah. boss bottle elixir i think it's hugo boss bottle elixir Okay, that, yeah, <laughs> there yeah. was too many bosses in there. I, <laughs> that was honestly surprised me. It's actually pretty good, man, for a designer fragrance. And not a lot of people talked about it this year, and I think it's a solid release. Yeah, no, for for designer release this year, it's, it's up there. That one's actually solid. Yeah, that one's not bad at all. And I think that's it. Oh, I got, I don't know, One Million Royal Oud. Oh. Or I, Golden Oud. Golden Oud, yeah. I, I'm not a massive fan of it, you know. You don't like it? It reminds me a lot of Haltain. I, I was literally just about to say, don't you think it just smells like Haltain? It smells like Haltain, yeah. You don't I, like Haltain? I, I like Haltain, but that, that one smells a little bit more dirty. It's like a more animalic kind of I fragrance. I think the, the leather in here pops in more than uh, more than Haltain. Look, if, if anyone's watching this podcast, did you just see what Cologne Talk just done? People need to do that more. Clean your bottles for fingerprints. <laughs> Dude, every single bottle, bro. I have, I if, if okay, when I put the bottle in the camera, yeah, and if I see the smudge, I'm like, yep, redo the shoot. Hold up, <laughs> <laughs> it's like, like that one video you did. Are you be cleaning my bottles like I'm shining my shoes? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what people need to do. I don't know how you're showing the fragrance bottle and it's got like 20 fingerprints on it, and you can't even see like the logo or what, what the fragrance is oh. called. I can't stand it, bro. I dude, I love bottles like Haltain, like the yeah. bottle. You don't see a single fingerprint on that, and then you have the cap where you see every single goddamn touch. <laughs> <laughs> hey, and talking about new pickups, yeah. Since we last on the episode, do you know how many new releases have been announced? Oh yes, so I've seen a new Valentino, yeah, and I've seen a new Jean Paul Gaultier, yeah. What else is there? There, there's it. a new, there's oh, a new Hugo Boss. There's a new Killian. There's a new, there's two new Killians. Oh shit, two! I only seen one. So there, there's one called Sunkiss Goddess, which is coming out. That's um, it's more of a, like a coconut vanilla fresh kind of fragrance. It's a re-release again, and then we got oh, another God. re-release which I announced yesterday. It's called um, it's a it's a re-release of Bad Boys Are No Good, but Good Boys Are No Fun. And mm -hmm. I, I even forgot the name of it right now. I don't know what it's gonna be. Yeah, I forgot the name of it too. But it's like a is it like a boozy? It's like it... it's gonna be like Tonka Cola. It's got notes of Coca Cola, lime, um, cinnamon, nutmeg, green apple. So in my video, I said it sounds like it's gonna be a mix of Tonka Cola and Carlisle. That that sounds good. I haven't tried Tonka Cola, but I can really like see how it's gonna smell. Yeah. I dude, I, you're picking that up or you're I, reviewing it as soon straight as it away. Drops. I, can... <laughs> I was literally in the store yesterday. And I said to the guy, Oh, do you know anything about the new releases? And he's like, Oh, um, nothing official, but we've been told we're gonna have a couple new things March, April 2024. So a couple more months to wait. Oh, so that's in right in time for uh Milan. 
Yeah. I wonder. So they're probably going to. If they're there, I don't know if those those brands have stands in Milan, but they might release it at that time. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure if they're going to be there. I think, that, yeah. you know, the tickets, I, I was literally speaking to Fragrance Don today because I think he's going to go. I think Strong Style's going. Um, that's what the Don said anyway. Um, I'm not sure if Brand Sense and anyone's going, but yeah, the, the brands that are going to be attending um, Essence, they don't look as good as the brands that went to Scent Explore, though. Really? I thought Milano was on like a bigger, bigger platform. I uh, see. I think the opposite. I think Scent Explore is oh. bigger. But yeah, because Scent Explore was two days, and I think Milano is like four days. Yeah, four I think it's March. Days, like I think it's March sixth to March 9th. And Fragrance Stone yeah. went last year, and he said I, it was it was proper bougie. Oh, we'll see. If if honestly, okay, wait. If the brands there aren't as crazy or as good as Scent Explore, I don't know if I'm. I might not go. Because they always add brands closer to the time, but I think I was looking at the list the other day, and I was like. I was expecting a little bit more, but I'll have a look after. And I, I, I think the tickets for it go on sale in January. But obviously, we'll try and hit them up and see if we can get content creator yeah. pass. Even if you don't go to it, at least still yeah, hit them up and see if you can get it. Yeah, I yeah. know Zerjoff is going. They, the, they told the, the, the owner. He, he mentioned it to me because I asked him if he was going to be a set explorer, and he yeah. said no, but we'll be in Milan. Yeah, because they're Italian brand, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah they yeah, have yeah. to be there. Yeah. Oh yeah, another but, another couple of new fragrances, yeah, that I tried the other day. Tom Ford's. The, oh yeah, you tried the vanilla sex. Vanilla and sex. What was the other one, the Vanille Fatal. So that one's just a re-release of one that yeah. they had, and that was one of my favorites before they discontinued it. And the the person working in the shop was like, "Yeah, they're the same. Like they haven't changed anything in the new Vanille Fatal, but it's bullshit because it smelled very different." But the vanilla sex one is nice. Obviously, two nine five, three hundred pounds. No way, no way in hell. But it's four hundred dollars here. That's just craziness. It smelled like vanilla ice cream, yeah. But it had like a sourness to it, like that I didn't like. And as it dried down more and more, I started to like it less. But it's a good fragrance. But no way, three hundred, four hundred dollars. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not spending that. I'd rather get literally anything else. Yeah, yeah, for real. And oh man, I'm excited for the new releases for sure. Though I know that John Paul Gaultier is probably gonna be good because John Paul Gaultier really doesn't miss with their new releases lately. They've they've been like the most hyped fragrances ever lately. Yeah, like but, that Lamal Elixir is is like wiped. Like yeah. I see it in everybody's collection now. Yeah, no, it's up there for designer fragrances. If anyone asks me. What should I get? What designer should I get? I'm giving you two. Azara the most wanted and Lamar Elixir straight away. They're the two. But yeah, I'm I'm not really excited for that that new the new Jean Paul Gaultier. Just for it, I don't know. It's, it, I feel like it's gonna be a bit too green. And yeah, I'm not a fan of green fragrances, like it's definitely a summer fragrance, right? Yeah, yeah. So the only summer fragrances that I've seen from Jean Paul Gaultier that have had some Good hype is Le Beau and Le Beau Le Parfum. Yeah. So they don't have like anything crazy for the summer except those two. So mm. I wonder if they're trying to like get something out for the summer as hype as La Mal Elixir. Yeah, because if they do that, they're gonna clear up. They're taking everyone's money. Like oh yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. We'll see how that goes. But the new Valentino, the the last Valentino release, the Rock Stud. Yeah. I've heard about it the first couple of days it released and i never heard about it again yeah like i, I smell it i actually thought it was quite nice but not good enough to actually go out and buy it and mm -hmm. you you literally see nobody with it in their collection nobody's no talking one. i i've only ever seen like two three videos on my feed about it that was it yeah because and... like, do, do you know what's funny yeah with a lot of like people like in the fragrance game yeah Everyone just wants to announce a new fragrance as fast as possible. Have you realized it's like as soon as something even possibly gets announced, like straight get done, let's create a video. Right? It quick, dude. Yeah. I did literally when that's what I see. I see somebody announce it, and two, three minutes later, I see another creator make a video about it. I'm like, damn, that was quick. <laughs> they're, they're not wasting any time. It's like <laughs> I need to announce it first. Like it's crazy. Dude, I literally, I'm about to hop on that train. Really, when I see that happen, and they get good views too. I'm like, yeah, I'm about to start doing that too. <laughs> yeah, because you know, oh yeah, and another one I picked up was the Strong With You Tobacco, yeah? 
And oh, me, yeah. do you remember when I announced the video back in November? I dropped mm -hmm. a video on it and it got like 400k, but someone else yeah. done a, a picture, swipe post using the pictures I've done in my video and they got like 1.5 million. So it <laughs> seems like all you got to do is just, you don't even have to do research. Just watch what other people post and then just be like, yeah, cool. Screenshot that picture post, million views. Like. Dude, literally, whenever you and you're announcing a new release, it gets crazy amount of views. And yeah. I'm about to, I'm about to like go into Photoshop and make <laughs> my own. Like, I'm about to be like new PDM release and just edit. <laughs> yeah, literally, do ombre nomad elixir. <laughs> Dude, that would go. Okay, I'm about to start doing that shit. Uh, but that's what people do. Some people do it already. Just quick Photoshop yeah, yeah. and just and it's just like. Like it, it kind of taints the 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 industry because then people actually hitting you up like people will message you and be like yo cologne talk have you heard about that new the new Louis Vuitton or the new and you're like yeah. bro like what are you talking about be like yeah no bro that just just that's just a little rumor it's not yeah. actually official or anything yet it's it's so crazy man it's crazy <laughs> but what, what are, was, yeah go on go on go ahead so if what are you most excited about like new release wise like if there's no even rumor about it what is one house that you want to see a new release from ASAP for 2024. I, I said this months ago, yeah. It's Dior, the Dior private line. I want to oh, see. Oh, they some... have a new one, no? I've I've seen something called it's new something, but yeah. someone someone hit me up and after I after that podcast we done when I said I want a new Dior from the private line, and they said, look, we got a couple of things coming next year. Can't say too much, but I want something nice and sweet from Dior because they just do it so well, man. Yeah, their private line is is honestly really good, and their quality on it is well worth it. And and maybe maybe even a Mason Francis Kirkjohn. Ooh, a new one. Yeah, the, the their last release, uh, what was it? The green one. What was it called? Aqua oh, Media or something. Aqua Media Forte, and then before Forte, that was yeah. before that was seven two four, and that was shit. Yeah, they they didn't really you know make it on the high list or anything. They were kind of just like. Yeah. low on the list uh that a new release from them would be good because they have some big hitters what about you what what house you do you want something <sighs> new from and you can't say zerjoff uh, bro yeah i was really about to say it. you can't <laughs> um there's already a new homage coming out which is really good bdk maybe Oh, a new yeah. release from BDK would be good because I've tried a couple new ones recently and I really, you know, I like what they have and I think a new release from them would be good. What What about what about a new Initio? I feel like we haven't had oh, anything yeah. new from them in, in ages. That is true. I haven't seen anything new from Initio in like the last maybe two years. Yeah, which is a bit strange. A new Initio would be good. Maybe a new, uh, a new, no. I was gonna <laughs> say new Azaro, but the last one they did, I heard it was a eh. mm. the silver bottle. Yeah, have yeah, you tried yeah. it? No, yeah, I tried it once, and I wasn't a fan of it. I tried it in Paris, I think. Yeah, this year, man, there were a couple of good releases, but most of it, like overall, wasn't anything crazy. Yeah, literally, I recorded two videos yesterday on best releases of 2023, and then the worst releases of this year, and <clears throat> I had like a a list of 10 for worst releases like there were so oh, many shit. shit ones i just wheeled it down to three but yeah they, we had some good releases overall like but nothing too too crazy though yeah nothing like out of this world probably like i i made a top five like best releases of 2023 as well and smoking hot made the list and uh one million golden Ood. those were some of the best out there for this year yeah, I think my top three was Killian Smoking Hot, um, or more cafe from Mancera. Oh, yeah. And then what was the third one? What was the third best release? Yeah. yeah. I, ca I can't even remember what I what I included in the video. I'm not sure if it nah, I can't even remember, but the worst release is yeah, wait for that video because I could I could have <laughs> grilled <laughs> some people. Dude, I'm, I'm curious what's your top three worst releases. There was so there was so <laughs> shit. There was some shit ones in there. I was like, do I I didn't want to pick two from one house, isn't it? Yeah. You don't want to you know go too hard on them. <laughs> before they ring me, like, yeah, you gotta take that video down, boy. <laughs> but yeah, man, it was it was pretty okay year. Um 
like uh when I was doing that top the top five best releases from 20th century, I was looking at some fragrances that I thought were released this year and they were actually released in 2021. And I was looking at the year of 2021 in fragrance releases. Yeah. 2021 had some bangers. Yeah. There were some crazy releases on 2021. Cause you know what is with the fragrance game, it takes a while for a fragrance to like get its respect. So for example, mm. I tried Oud Maracuja the first day it came out back in I think it was April. And yeah. I'd done like two, three videos on it. And you never really heard anyone speak about Oud Maracuja. Now eight months later, everyone Oud Maracuja, oh, yeah, Oud Maracuja. Yeah. So obviously going into next year, people will class it as one of the best Oud fragrances. So it takes a little bit of time. So someone told me something. Someone told me a lot of fragrances in 2024 are going to take inspiration from Oud Maracuja, that fruity Oud. Yeah. I feel like that might be like the general thing that some brands are going to try to go uh, after. And I've already seen it from a company, uh, Arm Off. So Club de Nuit Oud. Is, oh, yeah, I heard about It's got that. dried fruits, passion fruit, Oud, which is essentially Oud Maracuja, like. Are they cloning it? I'm curious what that is a clone of. Yeah, I, I'm pro I'm definitely going to get it. But I, when I looked at the notes, I was just like, yeah, like loads of companies are going to be doing like, yeah, passion fruit's going to be a solid note because you can use that in a summer fragrance as well as a winter one as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I, I think people or some companies might get into the oud category because designer fragrances don't really do oud Mm. that much and seeing like a like Paco Rabanne do a oud fragrance but it is kind of exclusive at the same point some companies might be like oh they're doing oud fragrances like why not we you know yeah yeah no definitely I'm, I'm excited to see because there's always trends in fragrances so what notes get used like quite often and stuff like that so I'm excited to kind of see what I, I feel like the gourmand kind of ice creamy kind of accord is going to be one that like loads of companies are going to use because when or more cafe comes to the US properly, I'm, it's going to be gone. I swear to God, it's going to be gone. It's, it's that good. I need to try that for sure. That's probably what the best Mancera you've tried. Yeah. Tonka Cola was number one for me. As soon as I got that, it's straight, straight in at the top spot. And obviously I've been decanning it. Yeah. <laughs> Look how much is left. <laughs> Dude, you emptied the bottle. That's like 10 <laughs> ml left. Literally, the the bottle's nearly done, and is I'm that the most sold. The top top one, strong with you, tobacco, bro. The whole bottle wow. is just just gone. Is man. it gone? Right, did you get <laughs> another one? So so when I done it, I done it as like there's eighty ml, just in case. Imagine like something spilled or something like that. Yeah, so yeah. I always done less. So the eighty ml went, and then I added the the other twenty on. So there's literally two samples left for it, and then it's gone. Um, Tonka Cola's one that sold a lot, or more cafe. So next week I need to go pick up. Tonka Cola or more cafe, and I need to pick up Ganymede because Ganymede just pff, gone. I seen I seen uh, Ganymede X Tray on a website here up for sale. Yeah, and I was thinking of grabbing it, but I was like, I looked at the notes. I don't know. I don't know if it's something that I would like or not. <sighs> it the notes kind of threw me off a little bit because I don't know. It seems like it's a 50 50 like it's not something that i'm for sure gonna like like when i'm blind buying and when i look at notes and i see like vanilla i see some type of like tonka bean or something like that i'm like yeah i'll probably like that i looked at the ganymede extreme and i was like eh, I, I, I think you prefer the og ganymede rather than the extreme i'll probably but i don't i don't think i don't think blind buy it. unless it's at like half price I wouldn't, I wouldn't blind buy it. It was at a pretty good price. And I was like, yeah, I might have to get that. <laughs> well, when you come to, if you come to Milan, we'll smell it there first. And then, yeah. And then we'll do it like 100%. that. Yeah. Are you done for, for purchases for 2023? Yeah, man, I'm, I'm, I'm finished. Well, yeah, next week I'm going to pick up my first couple or more cafe, Tonka Cola, all of that. But yeah, like haven't, I don't need to buy anything else. What about you? You got, you, you don't have anything on the top of the list that you want to grab? The, the, only, the only thing that is literally I can't get out of my head Chelsea Knights from one number nine I tried that dude I tried that in New York it was actually pretty good I it liked it so but it's, it's 420 pound for 100 ml that's nearly 500 pound for a fragrance like. it, it's hard to find on this kind of here as well I haven't really seen it around that much but other than that there's there's nothing like <laughs> that's it that, that this episode went 
flipping quick. Yeah, it went crazy quick. That's it for 2023. That's Jeez. a wrap. That oh is a wrap, flat. God, what a journey it's been. It's been crazy. 2024, we're hitting even harder. And we touched on loads of things. We was like, yeah, this happened, this happened. We didn't even say, we started a fucking podcast. <laughs> Which is crazy. Bro, we just went straight in. We could have yeah. even talked about more things. We could have yeah. done this episode a little like 30 minutes longer. <laughs> yeah. But, but everyone who watched well, the episode, man, I hope you guys all enjoyed this. I hope you've enjoyed all the episodes we put out already. I hope 2023 was good for you. We hope 2024 is even better. We're wishing you all the success, man. And thank you for the love and support as always. Yep. Happy New Year's, everybody, when you're listening to this. And the best 2024 to everybody listening as well. Yes. Love for the love, my Thank people. Thank you, everybody. Love for the love, my people. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs>